Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're opening up another Cosmic Eclipse booster box. This one, however, not by Joe Sanders, it's by Santo Vito. And you, my friend, are the first person to buy through our Facebook store. So thank you very much for that. And if you want your own booster box, then the links to our eBay and Facebook are underneath this video. But uh, like Santo Vito, if you buy through our Facebook, that's where you'll find the cheapest price. That's where we sell at the reduced price. It's through our Facebook store. And as always, we'll be giving away a code for every hit in this video, and then also when we change from one half to the other. First rare is Crabominable. So the first box is just no codes, no bulk, as is boxes number two and three. And then on the fourth and final box, we have a no codes box. So fingers crossed we get lots of the good supporters and trainers in that fourth box for you, my friend. And let's just see what we can get. So the cards that we haven't seen so far, we've seen pretty much we've everything. Seen a lot. Uh, we're just missing Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia. We haven't mm -hmm. seen any of those yet. And uh, then, of course, you've got all the different rarities of all the cards, you know, like if they're hyper rare and things like that. We haven't seen a lot of hyper rares. No, we haven't. We've only seen two so yeah, far, is so that right? Only two. Only two. And then, as far as golden cards go, we've seen three of them. Mm -hmm. More gold than. Uh, Hyper rare so far. Mm. That's quite cool. Yeah. Gold cards are good really looking. So is the hyper rare. So is a lot of the cards. Yeah, they're all good. good. Yeah. They're all good. They're all unique. They're all special. Stoutland. That's a hollow rare. There you go. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. So what do you want to talk about today? The weather. The weather. <laughs> Okay. I'm just joking. That's an interesting one. No, you brought it up. Let's discuss the weather. <laughs> what can we talk about the weather? It's been wet and foggy. Wet and foggy? Yeah. Not just wet, not just foggy, but wet and foggy. Yeah. Nice. Nice mix. No, I'm just joking. Right, come on. Any Pokemon news? Pokemon news. Uh, well, we're coming up to the release date of Pokemon Sword and Shield on the Nintendo Switch. That's... That's something, I suppose. Weavile! Oh, I like that one. Secret rare. And a beware. So that's quite exciting, I suppose. But apart from that, not much else. Mm -hmm. No. Any good looking cards that you've seen from the set so far? Uh, well, obviously the Pit Flop Secret Rare, I think, is my favourite yeah. of the Secret Rares. And as far as the hits go... As far as Golden, the Tag Call was the best looking one so far, I think. Mm -hmm. Uh, from our full, our full arts, I would have to say, uh, da, 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 da. I'm looking at our statistics that are up here, um, probably the Ends Resolve. Okay. That was a good looking card. And then from regular GXs, hmm, probably Oricorio. Mm -hmm. It was quite pretty. From the alternate arts, Sogaleo and Linala. From the regular tag teams, I don't know. That gives you an overall gist. Yeah. <laughs> um, what about yourself? Oh, I've given you too many. Yeah. Um, I like the giant hearth in the gold card. Okay. Yeah. I thought that was good. I didn't expect to see that just because it's so much kind of play in the previous set. Um, it's a few times they've done that, isn't it? What? I don't know if that's always a thing. Where they put one card into the next set as a golden card. Mm. Um, <clears throat> trying to think what else other ones I've seen. I like the Blastoise, you see. I'm always staying true to my Blastoise. So I like that. Yeah, I've got to stick to my Blastoise, I think. See, I feel yeah, as though I Blastoise and Piplup is a card designed for us. Because I love the Piplup, you love the Blastoise. Mm -hmm. I was really pleased when I knew Blastoise. Hey, here we go. We got the first hit of the box. Starting to think we weren't going to get a hit. This took us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 packs. Almost a third of the box before we got a hit. But we got a roller skater full art. It's pretty, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I used that card quite a lot. It's yeah, a good card. Roller skater in the pre-release. It's not too bad. Yeah, discard mm -hmm. a card. If it's uh, energy, draw four cards. If it wasn't an energy, you get to draw two cards. Yeah. But I think energy is in abundance and lots of cards, here's a good one, lots of cards get you energy to your hand or get energy back to your hand. So I think discarding an energy shouldn't be too bad. And then draw four cards. Pretty good. Pretty good. 
So what were you saying? You like the giant hearth. What yeah, else were you saying? I like the giant hearth and I like Blastoise. Just saying I was really pleased that Blastoise was back in again. Yeah, that we actually yeah. have Blastoise yeah. back in a set. Yeah. I wonder what it's going to be like for the Sword and Shield base set. That's going to be exciting. Base sets are always exciting. So what exactly does that mean? A base set. Yeah. Does okay. that mean just from the very beginning? So we'll, we'll never see any of these cards again. Correct. Yeah. So like a base set basically takes it as clean slate as you can get. And it'll show off all the new Pokemons that they've came up with for the next generation. So this will be, I believe, is it the ninth generation? Eighth or ninth? Someone can correct me. Um, and basically, instead of it saying now Sun and Moon, Cosmic Eclipse, it would say Sword and Shield, whatever this would be. But the base set will just be Sword and Shield, nothing else. So there'll be no, none of these. No. Ever. We'll never come across a Blastoise or a... Uh, well, no, th th then after that, after the base set, that's when they can start introducing uh. all the old ones back in. Uh, I could be getting some of this information wrong. I'm just trying to kind of go off my own experience from long ago. Pikachu. Such a lovely card. It is. And uh, that's all I'm going off of here. But as far as I'm aware, the base set... Because, yeah, I think the base set is supposed to be, like, ground level. This is us introducing... The uh, the new cards and the new set and things like that. And then from there, it might introduce old ones again. So, it's exciting. The base set is where it's exciting. Yeah. Oreshiram and Zekrom is our hit from this pack. Second hit the box. Mm -hmm. We need the hits to kind of ramp up, I, I think. I know, but it's two really good hits It's so an far. awesome one. Yeah, that one's a good one. One thing I want to point out, I'm going to reach over here as I give you this. Oh, nice. I've noticed a lot of codes... I always throw them away, so I haven't been able to notice. A lot of codes I've seen are like this. It's like the, the pack has been pressed oh. over the code. Because every time I see that, I think, well, the, as long as the card's not damaged, because it was this pack mm -hmm. that came in, you can see that there's nothing on there. But a lot of the codes that I've noticed, speaking of codes, here's a code to go away for that Reshiram. Uh, yeah, I've noticed a lot of codes are like that. I don't know if they've just been pushed too far into the pack, and then when it's been clamped shut it's clamping over the code mm -hmm. just want something to point out so be aware i suppose maybe check your packs make sure your cards are okay i guess mm -hmm. if you're buying from stores and things like that second to last pack first half of the box not a good half so far i mean we've had mm -hmm. two great hits but it is only two hits yeah. we need an amount of hits to ramp up i suppose they do say quality over quantity i suppose but still in this show, we try and look for both. <laughs> <laughs> okay, final pack, first half. Now we've got 18 more packs to go. Do you want to ever open them? No. Why not? No, because I'd probably just muck about with them. Like so, what I just did. Yeah, See, so, yeah. I mess around too. <laughs> yeah. That was a perfect example to show. Ah. Megalopony and Jigglypuff, third hit. I just had a feeling. Ooh. I didn't actually have a feeling, I had a hopeful feeling. That we get a hit in the last pack. So now we've got three hits so far. And this is our third one. And this is our third one yeah. of the box so far. And yeah, resolve and as well. Lovely to go with your uh, Reshiram and Zekrom there, my friend. There's your code. Yeah. And then also here's one because we're going from one half of the box to the other. I was just about to say, it's our third one, though, from our statistics. Uh huh. It's our third Mega Lockany and Jiggy Pack. Hmm. Hmm. But I think, yeah, that's why I'm excited for the. Yeah. The next generation, just because it's it's all new Pokemon. But of course, me being, uh, you know, I've been used to base set where it was just like, yeah, here's a Pidgey, I got wings, 50, <laughs> H, 50 HP, let's go. <laughs> so, uh, more recent designs, I, I sometimes look at them and go, oh, come on, really? They're just messing around now. But uh, I'm sure some of them over at, uh, ooh. Sogaleo and Lunala, the regular artwork. We haven't seen this one. No, right? we haven't. It's pretty. It's a nice one. We've got Lily mounting the back of Sogaleo there. Because, of course, the GX move requires you to play, or it doesn't require, sorry. It says, you know, if you play Lily's full force, there you go. Thank you. And then it does extra stuff. And a great catcher. That is a great supporter to have in reverse. And there's your code for the Sogaleo. I remember seeing the designs for one of the generations. I can't remember which one it is, but it was the one where it has a clef key, which is basically just a set of keys. 
It looks exactly like a set of keys. Mm -hmm. I remember seeing that and going, ah, come on, you're just kind of grabbing at straws here. You can see them sitting at a desk going, oh, we've got about 800 Pokemon we've designed <laughs> so far. We need more. Somebody's just twiddling their keys. That's a great idea, Bill. We use keys. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Mm. <sighs> so, please don't ask me this question, but, um, oh, I'll wait until we finish there. Cute. Yeah. Um, but if you were to design a Pokemon, what kind of Pokemon would you design? Hmm. Well, we didn't know where to start. I quite like Japanese um, culture things and Japanese uh, influences and things like that. So I suppose I would be looking to Japanese history and things like that. Japanese myths, perhaps. And maybe taking inspiration from something I find there. Okay. What about you? I asked. No, I said not to ask me. Tough. <laughs> you must have known it was coming. All of yours are interested. Hmm. Maybe go back to nature. Nature? Ooh, well there, just to do with plants and trees. Plants and trees? Yeah. And so would it like look that. like a tree? I don't know. I don't know. I just have to think about that one. What about you, viewers? If you were to design your very own Pokemon, what would it look like? Send your competition competition entries in. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. And the winner will receive the pride of knowing that you won, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Is there any insect Pokemon? Yeah. It is, isn't it? That's Cricketot from yeah. Cricketot, there's Ladybug, which looks like a ladybug. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of um yeah, there is. Okay, so maybe you can pay. Yeah, they're on like 900 Pokemon or something like that. I know I said 800 before, but it's just gone up by 100 in the time it's taken me to say this. So there's a lot of Pokemon. Mm -hmm. And eight obvious designs have been taken. How about an alien Pokemon? I'm sure. <laughs> Let me think. Define alien. Hmm. Well, imaginative alien Pokemon. No, nah, you're not feeling it. No. Hmm. I can see by your face you're like... Oh, well, I'm, I'm trying no, try to think. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to process. I'm saying I'm not thinking it is there, but I'm just saying. Oh, I see. Could, could you make could one? You make? Oh, I see. I thought you were asking oh, if there no. were already any. No, 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 no. Ah, I see. Oh well, yes. Go for it. Make anything, yeah. I suppose. Nothing too scary, I suppose, because it is a kids' card game Correct. after all. So it can't be too scary. Six plus, is it? Yeah. I noticed that. So it's like five, six plus on the boxes. I'm not. I don't know if I've noticed that before. No, I've noticed that before. I never noticed that until yeah. you just pointed six out to plus? me. Ages six plus. I imagine. Yeah. Hmm. By the way, I've just noticed we're sitting on four hits so yeah. far. Packs are dwindling. I know, Santa Vito, you've got three more boxes, but we want every single box to have a sizable amount of hits. Yeah, definitely. Sizable amount of good hits. Like that. So if we could hit another two hits at least, well, that would be good. Yeah. yeah. Again, our safe six. Safe six? No, it's sad six. Oh, is it? Safe seven oh, is what okay. we went for. Well, maybe we're going to have to change it for Cosmic Eclipse. <laughs> What's it? Safe six? Yeah, maybe we're not we're aiming too high. Maybe we're setting the bar too high, yeah. is that what we're saying? Ooh, hey, we've got Jars and Breaks in. That's a good hit, my friend. Hit number five. So we've got the Sogaleo, we've got the Charizard, we've got the Reshiram. Yeah, that's okay. Good, good hits. Good hits. There's good. Donuts before somebody gets it. I'm aware they're unified minds codes. I hope nobody minds about that. It's about as recent as we can go. We do still have a lot of Detective Pikachu ones as well. We opened so much Detective Pikachu stuff, didn't we? Yeah, but we loved it. Yeah. It was. It was a really good set. We fun liked set. It, yeah. I would have wouldn't have mind opening a lot more hen fates. I know. We hen fates really was a set we really that. did get into. Yeah. One I was looking forward to, but I think the, the problem is, you know, it's hard for us to kind of work out, okay, is this a set that's going to be worth opening up and things like that? Is people really going to get into this set? And then suddenly you go back on a website and realise that A, they're out of stock, and B, when they come back into stock, all the prices have, like, doubled. And you think, yep, I should have got that before it, yeah. before it went out. But, um, we learn. We're just new. Yeah, we are, I suppose. My cargo. Okay, we're... we're Second to last pack, we're on five hits. Have we had a five hit box so far? Yeah. No, I'm not having it, not having it, not having a five hit box. 
There's going to be a hit in this pack, or there's going to be a hit in the next pack. It has to be. I've, I've just said so. That's why. First hit, here we go. Oh, it's a Blast Flon. It's a Hollow Rare. It's quite nice. Is that our first Blast Flon? Uh, I think I've seen one non hollow okay. Blast Flon. Not from this box, but. So we're needing this pack to have a hit. Otherwise, we're looking at a five hit box. Hmm. And as I say, we're not having it. Last pack magic's never let us down. <laughs> it will have a hit. As I almost dropped this. Bird was trying to fly away. Last pack, and we get. Oh, you forget. Yes. Last pack magic. Last pack magic. We have. Ooh, it took What's me a while that? to actually work out what this is. Naganadel Goslord Tag Team GX. Now, this is the alternate yeah. artwork. We were perplexing this after our sixth box. A lot of them look like alternate arts, and some people have said that they're full arts, and then others say they're alternate arts, so we're not really sure what to call these. In my opinion, this is an alternate artwork, but we'll see what other people say. We've noticed that the full artworks normally have like the, a solid colour mm -hmm. for the background, and the Pokemon would be like, outlined with a blue outline, and uh, that to me would look like an alternate art, but... Some people that we've, you know, when we look up online, there have been people saying that that is, that is the full art version, but I don't know. There's the code for that. And I'm going to quickly show off the six hits of the box. And then we're going to move on to your second box, Santo Vito. Hopefully you like the first box. So we've got the Naganadel and Guzzlord alternate art. Jarzan Brixen, Sogaleo and Nala, Megalopony and Jigglypuff, Reshiram and Zekrom. And finally, we've got the Roller Skater full art. Thank you so much for everyone who watched this video. If you wouldn't mind, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. We'd really appreciate it. And we will see you in the next video.